what's up everybody back with another one uh, y'all see what we're here to watch <laughs> i'm really interested to see if uh they uh talk about his uh you know jamie's wife i i knew it i knew 20 years come on i think it was 20 years i think it was 20 years 20 years right you can't tell me you can't tell me out of 20 years not seeing somebody bruh yeah that, that. It's like you're missing everything because your dumb ass keep babbling about dumb shit. No one, <laughs> uh, no one care about that shit. Probably missed a whole bunch of shit because of that. But uh, yeah, y'all know. If y'all want to support the channel, you know. <laughs> and um, I have been reading a little bit, you know. I'm still on uh, chapter not chapter one, page nine. I'm not an everyday reader. But I am reading it, so <clears throat> let's just hop in because it's. But somehow, nothing felt the same. What up? How you doing? <laughs> I thought I'd see you grace my front step again. Huh? Me neither. When Ian said you were still alive, you might have knocked me down for the feather. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it must be quite a shock. But here I am. Here you are. Can I get a hug? Come on. Bring it in. Come on. How are the children? Grown now. Some of bairns of their own. What? Well, yeah. You had me worried half to death. I didn't even mean to worry you. You brought me back home. I would have brought you home where you belong. Feeding chickens. When I could <laughs> be in the city earning a wage. So that's what you were doing. Earning a wage, eh? Aye. And I was good at it, too. Fergus said so. Said I was a natural. I sold 20 cask of brandy before we were forced to flee after the fire. With fire? And why did you have to flee? You had my son sell. God dang it, man. Well, here we go. Then there was a wee fire at the print shop. We? You wouldn't be standing here if it was we. There's nothing left then. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you're home, tail dragon. And we're stray. Just drop back into our lives after 20 years as though nothing's changed. <laughs> Causing trouble. Everything was fine in Edinburgh, Janet. Then an agent of the Crown started extorting me. Sent his ruffian after Claire. Auntie Claire killed him. Killed him good. On accident. He, he fell back. He hit his head. Outside, no. And you better be where I can find you when it's time for your thrashing. <laughs> thrashing? <laughs> Y'all remember them days? <laughs> but there's more to it than just... Oh, well then, maybe we should all gather around the fire. I mean, if we're to listen to a talk... We didn't get thrashing. We, get, we got whoopings. And you know, fine well, it doesn't come from... Printing copies of the Psalms. I, I can how you make your money, but that's you, brother. You could have taught young Ian the printing trade, not how to be a criminal. I promise you, I treated him as if he was my own son. Aye. Then you can punish him as your own. Well, Maybe I. There's another way he can make it up to you. You ain't gonna. You ain't whoop. Okay. Eat this. Stinks like the devil's arse. If my hears your cursing, no one likes a wee clipe. I guess that's better than whooping his ass. I guess they can't show that in a show. I get it. <laughs> no fear. You run away and you don't even get your thrashing. This is a boy's task. Matthew should be doing this. I'd rather get a thrashing. You've even got muck around your moo. Oh, it's just a muck. It's whiskers. <laughs> Whiskers, you. Hey. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Throw some manure on her. As were you. I should have sent word. Told yeah, you he was both with was me. right. And I didn't. I'm sorry. It's only that the lad loves you so, Jamie. He follows you around like a pup, hanging in your every word. That's that nephew and uncle uh connection, you know. You certainly have a full house. Hello, I'm Claire. This is Angus and Anthony. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet both of you fine young gentlemen. Morning. They're Maggie's. You remember holding Maggie in this very room? The day I escaped Hans Muir. You escaped? Aye. There was a man named Duncan Kerr. Claimed there was his treasure hidden on an island. He was fevered. Kent, he was dying. It was his only chance to tell someone he thought he could trust. His last words were that the treasure was guarded. By a butchach man. La Dame Blanche. The White Witch. Yeah. My heart. Almost stopped. And he said it. See, that's love, bruh. <clears throat> you were out there. There are. Hundreds of isles all down the coast, but only one where the Selks live. Silky Island. Oh, it's hell no. Hell no. My mind with cold. I'm getting cold thinking about that water. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm cold as hell, bro. I wonder how cold it is out there, bro. I don't, it, it's, it's no snow on the ground, so it, it's at least like 40 degrees, 40, 50 degrees. With the wind chills probably hitting it down to probably like a good 20. <laughs> I don't know. Clear. Say, didn't find you there. I realized it was foolish to think we'd come back. Mm. If you hadn't been dead already, uh, I would have gone back and killed the girl myself. But give me hope. Come to mourn. Ah. Then you must kill that one too. Otherwise, it will grieve itself to death, calling through the skies for the lost one. Their love is amazing. I would love to have this type of love, but I wouldn't want to go through what they went through to get it. <laughs> I'm just being real. I mean, you know, I'll go through hell and high water, but I don't know if I could do what he did to do. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's a, yeah. I was hoping to speak to Ned Gowan before I told you to see if the law was... In our favor. But Ned Cowan's still alive. Yeah, it's very complicated. You must listen. You are your heart. Daddy. Daddy, who is that woman? Daddy. 
Sasanach, witch! Lily, what the hell? Lily, what the hell are you doing here? You're... You're supposed to be dead. How... How could you do such a thing to me, Jamie Fraser? You married her? Husband, no. Have you no <laughs> Oh, my life. This is. Don't sit on your hands off me! No. Oh, with you. You know, I'm gonna just light this right now because this has just got. Who's that woman? Why did you upset Marshall? That woman is Claire. My wife. My first wife. That's crazy. I thought she was dead. By the grace of God, she came back to me. I, I planned on telling you. Bruh. Chance. What about Ma? I tried very hard to be a husband to her, but your mother and I... We didn't have a bond that keeps people together. Whatever. Then why the heck did Didn't you marry her? With that other woman. Why you marry her, bro? I gotta hear this story. I gotta hear this story. Whatever. Don't know fast, Johnny. I love you and your sister. And I'll always look after you. Promise. Nah, nah, nah. I can't believe you. Go and find Marsley. She'll take you home to your mom. What? You could have got anybody else. Me too. Anybody else. You could have got that one French lady. That you could have even went to got her. You could have got anybody. You ain't got her. Y'all was upset too? Hey, let me explain. It's a little late for that. I didn't live with her. She and the girls live at Bow Riggin. I didn't think they'd come here. It was a great mistake, the marriage between Vera and me. With two children, that took you quite a long time to figure that out, didn't it? Hmm. And I suppose that makes it all right, does it? It's Leary. She, she tried to have me killed. Well, you're the one that told me to be kind to... Not marry her. Thank her. Not marry her. And you're not going anywhere. You cannot stop me. Can't. You lied to me. You did. You tell me that you never fell in love with anyone else. I did not fall in love. You tell me about your son. Why couldn't you tell me about this? Why couldn't you, bruh? Why? Why? We want to know. Because I am a coward. Great answer. Oh, you for fear I would lose you. And I couldn't have bear the thought of losing you again. I wanted you so badly that nothing else mattered. I would sacrifice on our family life itself to see you to lie with you again, even though you left me. Left you. Here we go. Wrong words. Wrong words. Forced me to go back. 
I would have died gladly at Kalotta with you. And now you want to blame me for that. Oh, don't blame you for it. You had to go for Brianna's sake. I kind of regret that. Would she blame you for coming back? No. Yes, no, what, what? Make up your mind. Do you know what it is to live 20 years without a heart? To live half a man and accustom yourself to exist in the bit that's left? Do I know? Do I know how that feels? Yes, you bastard, I know. What did you think that I went back to Frank and lived happily ever after? Oh, sometimes I hoped you did. Sometimes I could see it. Him with you day and night, lying with you, taking your body, holding my bear, and God, I could kill you for it. Oh, wow. I don't care about Larry, and I never have. Oh, so you would marry a woman you don't even want, and then just discard her the second you're done? Oh, I'm damned, one way or the other. If I felt anything for her, I'm a faithless lecher, and if I didn't, I'm a heartless beast. Well, you should have told me. That's true. I have no word in this fight. I would do far worse than lie to keep you. Y'all weird. Y'all have a weird fucking relationship. <laughs> Whoop his ass. Just smack him a couple of times. Stop it! Both of you! <laughs> rutting like wild beasts and no caring if the whole house here. <laughs> hey, I totally forgot about the whole house. You know what I'm saying? I just, uh. Crazy beasts. Would you like a whiskey? Suppose I could do with one. Hell yeah, yeah, you're gonna need some whiskey. Thank you. I apologize for disturbing the household. I should be apologizing to you. I told Aunt Lady you were here. That's why she came. Wow. I didn't have it in mind to cause such a kebby levy. Truly not. I suppose one of us would have found out sooner or later. Wow. Find an apron. Aye. It's only birdshot. Nothing serious. You forgot what I told you about germs. Thank you. I'll help my father. Here. I'm going to have to dig those pellets out. Uh. Lie down. Mm. Mm. I don't see. See? <laughs> Dealing with the wrong one. Got yourself shot. Those are very fancy knives you've got there, Auntie. <laughs> I, uh, and you're a very fine cutler in the colonies. <sighs> this is the one I'm worried about. The pellets penetrated the artery and you'd bleed to death and there's been nothing I can do about it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> that shit hurt. Did 
penetrate the artery? No, it was very lucky. I'm good. I, I'm good. <clears throat> Auntie. It's enough alcohol for now. Thank you. No, that's for you. It's not for Uncle Jamie. It's for you, Auntie. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, you know what I'm saying? I ain't there, but I take a nice little. Jamie's lucky you're here. <laughs> yeah, she pissed. <clears throat> Come on. You can't go back, Claire. You know you can't. I mean, you can, but you, you can't. Don't that woman. <laughs> No, she wasn't toting a pistol when I chanced upon her again. That's it. You truly wish to hear? Yes, we do. I haven't stopped being angry. I was about to say that. So you might as well explain your... Go on. We're waiting. I've been away so long. When I returned from Hellwater, from England, thinking about Lolly. <laughs> yeah, that, that, uh, that's mighty sharp. That is. So you better hold still and relax. But would you please explain why jabbing needles in my arse is going to help my arm? Because jabs are no match for penicillin. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> he looks really afraid. <laughs> uh, I would love to see him come to like the 1960s with her. <clears throat> oh, I, I can't remember what when she left. I think it was the 1960s or the 1980s. One of those. Standing by the altar. Whichever one. You were there with them. Standing betwixt him and Mary. Oh, my dear, is it truly you? Ned. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, I've come to speak to your husband. You're, you're a feast for these old eyes. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm, I'm a trifle overcome. You look exactly the same. What is your secret? <laughs> I never married. <laughs> <laughs> well, with I haven't seen that man in so long. It was Fraser. That's he crazy. The marriage. At first, I'm like, is it who is he? And then at first, and then. That second, I mean, and I'm like, oh. I'm willing to pay. In my mind, I was like. Funny yeah. you should mention that. Neary has made a complaint to the Justice of the Peace uh, for distress and loss of support. How could she do that? Or held a fury like a woman scorned. But she shot him. Indeed. And in the Highlands, as we know, this arming act means that owning a firearm is a criminal offense. Where is the weapon now? Young Jamie has it hidden in the stables. Any way of proof? I had a career, a home, friends. And you had your print shop in Edinburgh. It wasn't so bad, really, was it? Being a printer was not compared to being your husband. That's nice to say. Y'all ain't got no boat. They got a boat. You 
He can't hear you. He can't see you. All I know is you better find that boat. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. wasn't for the circumstances that would have been a beautiful place to be chilling out have a nice little fire have some uh, marshmallows and get some s'mores going dang man why why y'all do that see y'all should have had more than one person going over there now that that uh, uh, another thing how did they know it's probably because you was talking to somebody and somebody you said something too loud because you said that twice Someone must have overheard you. That's crazy. Well, I hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. Or tell me what you want me to watch next. And as always, if you want to support the channel, please get the book. Of course, we're going gonna, gonna to come out with another one soon. Well, not soon, but I'm going to be working on it. But, um, yeah, I'm really going to, I'm I'm really excited to see what they're going to do next. For real, for real. <coughs> So yeah, so stay tuned, and as always, thanks for watching, deuces.